Hey guys, I'm Ranger Ripe. Today, we're gonna talk about riparian ecosystems. You guys may be asking, what in tall nation is a riparian ecosystem? Well, it's a transitional area between a terrestrial and aquatic environment. It provides linkages between water bodies and terrestrial ecosystems. It also moves matter and energy between the terrestrial ecosystems and the water bodies. Yo, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing much. You want to talk to the class about large woody debris? What's up? I'm Zon. So, uh, <laughs> large woody debris is important because it uh, traps and sorts sediments and it improves channel complexity. So, uh, large woody debris, it also facilitates the development of cold water micro habitats by the development of deep pools. Large weight debris also creates uh, steps up the channel for fish with alternating pools used for resting and protection from high velocity flows and predators. This is not large weight debris. It does nothing. This right here is a good example of large weight debris. As you can see, it's trapping leaves and other sediment type things. Branching out into another topic, tree cover is also important because it blocks out sunlight and heat. Having cold water is necessary because certain important species uh, have evolved to live in cold water, such as microinvertebrates. Speaking of rocks, I'm Ranger Area and here to talk to you about sediment and erosion control. Riparian vegetation provides root structure which helps keep riparian banks intact and prevents erosion. Vegetation also promotes infiltration and long-term storage of water into the soil rather than having it quickly run off. Riparian habitats also prevent overbank flow through the filtering effect. As you can see, riparian habitats promote input of nutrients into the soil, which is plants, microorganisms, and invertebrates, and allows terrestrial animals to thrive in these habitats. Riparian vegetation slows down water velocity, ultimately leading to less erosion and allowing the settling of nutrients in rich sediments. As a result, downstream velocity is also slowed down. And now, let's review on some things we've learned today. When you're in a new riparian ecosystem, trying to determine the relative health of the habitat is important. When analyzing the region, look for native understory vegetation and large trees. These are important because a mix of species produces a network of roots underground. These roots are one factor that helps stop soil erosion. Another factor is the width and depth of a stream bed. The wider and shallower the stream bed is, the slower the water's traveling. Slow water provides an excellent habitat for native fish species to spawn. Some dangerous erosion hazards to look out for include deep gullies, severe stream bank erosion, large mass movement around the stream bank, and large amounts of erosion within the floodplain. Hope y'all learned a lot today. Once again, I'm Ranger Rap. I'm Ranger Arian. I'm Zone.